That's the please don't mess with me stance. I'm about to kill you. But oh my goodness me, if it gets a bite in here, it's gonna be all over a driver centipede! Warning, this video contains extremely graphic footage of a very deadly spider and a very nasty, stinging, biting centipede. If you are triggered by seeing any of these critters or have arachnophobia, this video is definitely not for you. Oh, hello there. I've got a, a very requested video and I'll finally be able to get the two critters together. Uh, the redback spider in there is what I'm calling the Bin Spider 2.0. It was basically <laughs> the next season's red backs as we're crawling into spring. And this thing here, oh man, these things are vicious. It's a centipede. It's a nice size. I have seen them much bigger than this. Uh, they've got a nasty bite. They've got venom. They are really, really evil. And before I get going, I'm just going to see if it can escape the Pyrex bowl here. Ooh, they're creepy things, I tell you. I have a lot of respect for these if I see them in the garden. And they're actually pretty easy to find. Look at it scouting around here, but can it climb the glass? That's what I want to check. Well, it looks like the centipede's already spotted the redback spider over there. I've got a sneaky suspicion that this is going to be the redback killer. Many people have told me that. That's its front there. And these ones here do have like a snapping back action as well. It was doing it on me yesterday. Ooh, they are nasty to look at, aren't they? Ooh, see that? I don't know if I get this on camera or not. If you start to sort of razz it up, its back end will come around and fling you. Oh, this gives you goosebumps the way these things operate. Really, really nasty critters. I think people ID these by the segments in their body. I did a quick read up about these, but they're very complex critters to get your head around. They'd also be very expensive if they wore shoes. A lot of feet there. So we've got a feel for Mrs. Centipede here, haven't we? Isn't she a stunner? Well, I shouldn't sex her. I don't know whether it's a he or a she. The audience will be able to tell me. Over here, I know what I've got here. It's a female redback spider. Yes, that's Bin Spider 2.0. Beautiful. I'll just give her a very careful raz up here. She's probably made a little bit of web in there, although she hasn't been in there that, that long. Ooh, look at her flaring up. Oh, yes, yeah, she's ready for action. And this is as simple as me putting one deadly critter with another. I'll try and get Mrs. Redback out. Although, ooh, look at her down on the web there. And I'll have to get rid of that web because she'll use that to escape. And to get rid of that web, I just do this and I'll sever it. And hopefully the Redback can't escape. And now it's just a matter of these two meeting up and seeing what plays out. Ooh, okay, that was the first touch. Oh, I'm sure they are aware of each other at the moment. This could play out very fast. Uh, many, many people have requested this. And I'll tell you what, that centipede is looking angry. Looking very angry. Look at it going. It's actually chasing it right back around. I'm moving the ball around uh, with my hand here. It's very aware of what's in there. And the red back is just running, running, running. And it's making a move. Oh, the centipede just going the wrong direction then. I'm sure it knows what's in there. It's looking very smart on its legs, isn't it? Ooh, chasing, chasing, chasing. Getting up to the red back. The red back is just running faster than it. Bit of a star mark going on here. Obviously, there's uh, one on either side. That red back spider there, I'm classifying it as an adolescent. Uh, I found it right at the start of the spider season in Australia where I live. Now, if you ask me, I think the centipede is the aggressor in this game here. Mind you... Ooh, what, those back things. I don't like those back things they've got. The red back isn't uh, really attacking it. It's sort of just trying to scamper the glass. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, red backs will fling web and things if they're feeling threatened. I'll tell you what, that centipede is looking very menacing indeed. Again, they've split over to uh, two sides of the ring here. Ooh, red back just touched then and is just going to have a rest there for a moment. I think it's just licking its feet. It's probably thinking, what am I going to do now? This, oh, it's going to, oh, the back of that centipede, man, watch out. It's dangerous. Centipede is just making a run for the red back and the red back is running the other direction now. Yeah, I don't know how these centipedes work and what they can see or what those things at the front do. It's almost like they're sensing in front of it, aren't they? All I know is they have got a mean, mean bite and chompers and venom. Ooh, Redback is looking threatened at the moment. The centipede is doing a bit of glass work. Oh, there's the Redback. Oh, the Redback is doing its classic web thing there. Did you see that? Oh, okay, it's starting to get action here. 
Just going to turn the bowl around so I can take advantage of what I can see here. The centipede's coming back around. The red back was certainly threatened there. Ooh, centipede is just doing some glass work. Again, uh, they're both sides, but as I turn the bowl around here, the red back will crawl around towards the centipede here. It's getting closer and closer. It's going to touch. Oh, it knows it's up against something nasty and it's retreating the other way. It just looks creepy, doesn't it? You know, some people say spiders look creepy, but I tell you what, there's something about centipedes that just gives you the, the mega goosebumps. Horrible looking critters. Red back has just doubled back around then. Ooh, look at it there, flaring up its front legs. But it's the back legs that are dangerous. Again, it scampers away. And because this is a bowl, they just keep coming into contact with each other. Oh, mind you, I'm not seeing the centipede uh, doing anything that risque at the moment. I've seen more threatening action from the red back spider. And if I'm scoring this, the red back's getting it at the moment. Again, they are either sides of the bowl. The red back would be laying down web as it goes around, starting to know to tell the territory, but the territory is dangerous. Ooh, it's sensing that centipede again and it's backing around the other way. Again, they've split away from each other. I've seen this a couple of times now. Ooh, okay, they've all, they're near each other again. The little red back is doing those front legs things. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna try and come in for a bite or something. Ooh, and the centipede this time looks like it's retreating. I think the aggressor in that was actually the redback. In fact, the redback's starting to track around. I would definitely say the redback is getting some web in there and setting it up so it's her advantage. Oh, look at her now. That's a dangerous end to beat because I know the back end of that centipede can be really dangerous. And she's making a move here. Oh, man, this is crazy. She's trying to climb the glass. The centipede's going to come in and climb. Oh, my goodness me. Trying to enclose their very dangerous there for the red back, but she's headed the other way. The centipede is just here crawling around the other way as well. And because they're in a bowl, they just keep coming up against each other. It has been extremely evenly matched, I feel, so far. I don't know which way this is going to spin. Uh, my heart actually goes for the red back spider because I've actually got a ton of respect for them after doing the study about them. But who knows, uh, so many people said the centipedes are super, super evil. Ooh, what's the red back up to at the moment? Just doing a bit of glass climbing, but getting closer and closer to the center. Ooh, touches it and runs. Ooh, you lose a point for that, dearie, you lose a point. Centipede is doing something with those front bits on it, which I've got no idea what they do. They're like a sensory thing, and it's, I think it's very front legs are like things that grab like big jaws. But just up the back, he, look who was come around Ooh, she's that's the see a, a red back spot at the back of them is actually the dangerous part because that deploys that really sticky web it's almost as if uh, the centipede there is cleaning its whiskers that's the anything I could say Ooh, creepy Wow uh, you see those jaws and it's cleaning the other whisker now Ooh. so as this plays out uh, the red back starts to build an advantage up because it puts out more web into the bowl and I've seen it doing that it's turning the bowl into its environment. Yes, I'm certain the redback spider is setting up a bit of a trap there for the centipede. And I bet you the centipede doesn't realise. The funny thing about centipedes is I actually put two of these in the spider tank. I've forgotten the week, but they're actually fairly lame. They sort of burrowed down. They didn't do all the things that people said they would do. And I think the real way to see how they operate is to put them in a bowl like this. And it's hunting around now. It's hunting around. It's coming over to the redback. And that's where it's been laying down web. It's going to be dangerous because if any of those feet get stuck in the web, all of a sudden the redback starts to take advantage and there's a lot of feet that get stuck. It actually made a grand attempt to climb out of the bowl, but its own weight sort of brought it back down. Obviously, don't come to our place for any cooking because look how we use our cooking bowls, hey? The redback spider has set up a neat little trap there. has been carefully laying down some very sticky web. And never ever dismiss these spiders because they are totally amazing the way they kill. Oh, the centipede. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, the red back is frowling here, frowling here. It's at the wrong end of that centipede. That's the jury end. Oh, the centipede doubles back, doubles back, doubles back. And again, because of the nature of the bowl, ooh, the centipede is just coming over to the back of the spider there. But it has just doubled back again. It's just spun the other way again. The red back, as I'd say, poised in a position to do a strike. That's the sort of position they take when they 
feeling like they want to do something against something and this looks like again the centipede is backing back the other way that's the please don't mess with me stance I'm about to kill you uh oh but look behind her Ooh, wow 10,000 leg legs of death and great big chomping jaws and venom as well Ooh, yeah I, it's funny I would say I see the centipede doing retreats Mind you, it's like a double-edged sword, that thing. It's got those back-end things as well. Ooh, if the red back finds any sort of advantage, it's going to take it. Because that's... Oh, oh, it's a double back by the center. Oh, my goodness, man. Did you see that? The red back is just taking a strike. The centipede... Oh, the red back's running there, but the centipede's now after it. The centipede's coming up after the red back spider. Oh, my heart nearly jumped out of its chest watching that one. And the centipede is still coming, still moving towards the red back. The red back spider's going to do what it can. It's back leg action if it can, but I didn't see it then. And the centipede keeps moving forward, moving forward. I'm actually starting to think the oh the centipede just double back it's starting to seem very aggressive all of a sudden. Oh coming in front oh the, the red back spider used those front legs to feel it and the centipede backs away again. Oh the centipede just did a strike then it went across the bowl straight into the red back and it's now chasing the red back for all its life. Wow it is start oh the red back spider is getting web under the centipede there. The centipede looks like it's got a piece of web into its face. I'm pretty sure it got a slap of web then, and it's looking like it's, wow, it's got a bit of a, a it's front things are affected by web. Look at that, and it's trying to clean it off, it is trying to clean it off. Almost needs an action replay to slow that up, I'm sure the Redback Spider struck out with web then. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> There's a centipede there. It looks like it's trying to get rid of web from the front there. That's what it looks like. And the redback spider is back in that sort of mode where, you know, don't come near me. I'm going to get you a web. Boy, that's scary when they're like that. Really scary. The redback is making a move here. It's moving towards the centipede. I haven't seen a centipede do much since it got that slap of web in the face. It is not moving much at all. Oh, my goodness me. My goodness me. It's still licking its... Funny thing on the front there, whatever it's called. The redback spider is again looking, well, looking like victory if you ask me. It is coming up to the centipede. That centipede hasn't moved much since that whatever happened um, in the face. And the redback spider seems to have got control here. Mind you, the centipede is back up and mobile. It's moving again. It's freed up whatever is in its face and it's looking very, very aggro. Oh, oh, and the red back has come up against the centipede again because the bowl brings them together so many times. And the centipede is doing a bit of the chasing at the moment, but the red back can scamper away a little bit faster. Yes, yeah, so the longer the red back is in there, the more web advantage it starts to get because it's setting up its little network of traps. And again, the red back looks menacing. It's got that up on its tippy toes there, and you can see on the side there the centipede mooching around. And I'm sure the red back will do its back webby action whenever it can. That uh, centipede was immobilized for some period of time when it got a slap of web into its face. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I'm sure the video referee is going to tell me. At the moment, I feel it's been a very even Steven style battle. I haven't seen a decisive move uh, from either of them. I think I've seen two very good moves. And at the moment, I would actually score this match evenly. If I was a referee of this sort of wrestling. Oh, the red back is making... The red back seems to make more aggressive moves now because it's starting to lay down its patch. The red back's feeling a lot more confident in there now. It's going to be one of those bug battles where uh, it's going to be the mistake that will d decide the loser of the battle. The centipede is still just going around the edge there, always trying to climb the glass. It rarely goes across this bowl. And that's where the Redback's been setting up a lot of sticky web. But I also see moves like this where I think the Redback makes decisive moves towards the Centipede. I've probably seen that more from the Redback than the Centipede. 
Ooh, the centipede, it may be stuck on some web there. It's doing a lot of leg action. And this is what the Redback has been setting up very, very carefully. He's done a lot of web work in that area. Now the Redback's coming over. Ooh, remember I spoke about mistakes. Well, that might have been a big mistake by the centipede. Now, if the centipede can't move from there, the Redback starts to have quite an advantage. And I'm just very carefully moving the bowl. Ooh, that's a dangerous end to be of that centipede, I tell you. That's the situation. Look, looking back a bit, yeah, the Redback has been very busy working in the middle of the bowl, and the centipede's, well, I believe it's stuck. And if the Redback feels it's got something trapped in its web, well, you know what it's going to start doing. It's going to start, oh, here we go. Here we go. The Redback is, is, looks like it knows it's got something stuck in that web there, and it's going to start to deploy lots of that web from the back of it. Oh, it looks like the centipede has just worked itself free. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it was very scary. The centipede's looking, oh, very, very aggressive there for a moment. But is it still stuck? Can the Redback take advantage of this situation here? For, oh, I'd say the Redback has advantage here because I've seen the centipede get stuck and it was certainly stuck there for a period of time. I've seen the Redback do its webby thing there. Oh, the Redback is scampering away, scampering away. And again, the Redback is coming around, coming around, and it looks like... The centipede is trying to clean web uh, from the front of it there. It's getting preoccupied in cleaning web, and that's going to be a death sentence if you keep doing that, because the redback spider here is a honed, honed killer, especially when it feels it's got an advantage. And it's weird. The centipede has gone into an immobilized state there. It, its head curled over, and the redback spider is just doing a bit of a glass climb. As it keeps scratching the glass, it's actually moving towards the centipede there. And it's going to touch it. And I, oh, this could... Oh, man, I thought this was going to be a ball. That was like um, an advantage redback because it, it was going to come in for a bite strike. That was the move they do. Oh, man, that was a killer move. I don't think it got a bite in there, but man, uh, while that centipede was preoccupied, it looked very, very vulnerable. Uh, just looking at the centipede again, it's its front whiskery thing, it's bent back. So I can only assume it's got web on there, and that's because the red back's web is so amazing. Well, with them again, split either side of the bowl here, who do you think is going to win this battle? You know who I think is going to win the battle? The one I'm pointing at right there. Something about red back spiders that uh, is just freakishly amazing. To me, the centipede, it's preoccupied with getting sticky web off it. It's starting to lose its zing. Would be the best way I could say it. It's one thing to lose your zing, but have you lost your sting? If you've still got your sting, you've still got a chance. Oh, the red back is coming up here. It, notice it turns around. That's because it deploys web from the back, and it's going back to the middle there because it's been doing all that web work and continues to do so across the jar. Oh, centipede! Again, near the red back here, the centipede's looking aggressive all of a sudden. I'm just turning the ball slowly here to keep up with the action. Mind you, the centipede... Oh, the red back's doing a bit of a back leg thing on web. The centipede still has that front thing bent back. As if it's been stuck with web or something that the red back's done to it. And again, the red back is... There we are, backing itself in the right position there. Doing its web thing on the... Oh, the back of the centipede there. Centipede reacted from that. It didn't like it at all. Centipede comes around. Oh, I thought it was going to be a move. Oh, it's going to try to turn around the red back there. They don't like it when the centipede moves around like that. The red back, it's... Oh, my goodness me, what's going on there? It looks like it's stuck in its own web, but it can't be. Was that possible? The um, centipede there is looking like it's getting immobilized. The red back has got some vital web out there. Oh, just be careful, red back, because the back of the centipede there is dangerous. And I think the centipede again is immobilized here. The red back spider seems to have an advantage here. Red back spider is going to probably take a good look at what's going on here. It does look like the centipede again is stuck in that spot there. I'm not seeing it moving from that spot. And Mrs. Red back spider might know it's got an advantage here. It's moving over to the centipede here. I don't like the back end of those things. It just looks dangerous, doesn't it? And the red back spider is actually mounting the back there. Of the centipede what is going on there it looks like it's going to deploy look at the stance that redback's got oh my goodness me if it gets a bite in here it's going to be all over red rover centipede 
I think the red back spot is coming in for a bite on the back piece of the centipede here. I can't believe it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is amazing. This is amazing. The redback spider is going to get a bite of this centipede. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be all over. Oh, the centipede's turning around. It's turning around as now after the redback. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, I've got goosebumps all over me. I can't stand looking at this. This is a killer fight. Killer fight. Oh, I've just got to pick up my heart and put it back in my chest. Did the redback get a bite into the back end of the centipede there? The redback spider is moving around and looking very aggressive. It's coming in again. It's putting more web out. I'm not seeing the centipede move very much at all. I think it's stuck down in the bowl there. The redback spider is looking very, very honed. Oh, I can't believe the way this girl's working. It's just beautiful to watch. The redback spider, man, it is. I think it's on top of this at the moment. That centipede. Hasn't done that much, it's been all red back in the last moments of this battle, and again it's coming in and doing it's doing some web work there very briefly, I think. Again, it's working the side here. I think the centipede is actually stuck down to some web. Oh, is it trying to escape or is it trying to form an attack plan? I haven't seen that much aggression from the front of the centipede, and that has surprised me a lot. Ooh, I don't know if I got that, but the, the red back comes up and it just touches the back of the centipede. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay, the redback is up near the centipede again. I'm thinking that the centipede's in a lot of trouble at the moment. The redback seems to have scored a lot of points, uh, especially in the last uh, moments of this video, in a sense. So I don't know how many minutes back it is, because well, I can't see the finished edit product, but I can't see that centipede moving much now, and the redback is just frozen there. Look at it there, just waiting. Although, it looks like the centipede might be breaking free it may have got out of that sticky web situation it was in but i don't know it's starting to lose its zest to me it's not moving around as sprightly as it was before at the moment of this battle here i'd actually score it towards the redback i've seen far more points from the redback's work versus the centipede oh i say the redback can walk wherever it wants to walk now Again, the red back is up near the back of the centipede here. It's doing that weird arched leg movement. I always see that as an aggressive move by red backs. I saw it in the spider tank and I'm seeing it in the battle zone here. Oh, the red back is up near the chomper's end of the centipede here. All it has to do is get a bite in, maybe through a leg or its back component, and the red back's going to have a massive advantage. But all the while, the red back sets its web traps because that's its little secret to success the centipede is free again oh they just kissed then but uh, i didn't see any uh, making up and the redback spider is running around it's, see it's much more mobile than the centipede it's really oh, moving at full force i'd say and it's going to come up towards the back here oh my goodness me my goodness me this is a sort of area where it takes huge advantage if it gets a bite in that centipede is history. Oh, the way it walked over it there. Killer move. And again, that red back is just totally sizing up the situation here. It must feel victory in its little legs. Oh, the centipede again seems to be on the move, uh, but the red back is still setting its little traps in the middle there. Still playing its very red back game. Again, it looks like advantage red back here. It's up near the back here. If it gets any sort of bite into the back end of that centipede, it's history. And the red back really has command of the situation. Look at it now, just walking all over that centipede. Oh my goodness me! Oh, it's just attacked the head! It just attacked the head! Oh, my glasses nearly fell off from excitement there. My heart has just jumped out of my mouth. And if the red back hasn't got a total advantage of the situation now, it never will! That centipede is looking defeated, defeated, defeated! Look at this. Look at the way the red back just commands a situation. It, it's going to get a bite into a leg, I know it. Oh my goodness me. Can you believe the way that little girl there works? Isn't she a stunner? 10,000 points to Mrs. Redback there, and she's only a juvenile here, and this centipede here, man, it has put up a grand battle, but I don't think it's ever going to win now. Oh, the agony of it, just watching this and the way the Redback just 
has total control here. It's surely getting bites in leg by leg by leg. The Redback Spider must sense victory at the moment. It just keeps going back to the centipede here. Oh, stunning to see. The way the Redback moves up on the centipede, and it keeps laying its web because it knows it's got to have its own little area here for, for a war. It has just been stunning to watch, and I'm just trying to get nice and close to her as she makes a move on the centipede. Here she comes, here she comes. Oh, oh, look at that. Don't you love it? Wow, she's beautiful. It doesn't stop. It, she just keeps doubling back now, and she must sense victory. She must sense victory, and wow, what a glorious meal, hey? Oh, look at that. She's doing whatever she wants. She's got total control. And again, she's coming in here, and I really think it goes back to, I'm sure it was a slap of web that the centipede, oh, look at that. The centipede's not even trying to attack her. I notice she, um, she steers clear of the front of the centipede. Maybe she knows what it's all about. But I, I really didn't see the centipede take a strike. Or well, maybe I'll be corrected there. Maybe I missed it in the sense of looking at the video. I think the centipede again is stuck on web. And the redback, uh, well, has command of the situation if that's the case. Oh, yeah. Okay, and she's going to come in and do a fangy thing there, I'm sure. Look at her there. There'd be many, many people surprised to see this because so many people said this battle would fall the other way. I'm sure she's doing things on the legs. She's doing whatever she wants to do. This is her meal now. Look at her there. Just totally amazing to watch. Oh, don't you love... Wow, look at that. I always thought that was the really dangerous end of these critters too. Wow, that redback spider. Just amazing. With their venom... It can take some time to take effect, and if I talk too much about that, I'll give away the result of another video. Uh, yeah, I, I notice with larger creatures, um, they can they can take a long period of time to die, and we saw that. Oh, look at that. We actually saw that with the lizards. Uh, when the lizards were bitten by these spiders in the spider tank, sadly, it took so long for them to pass away. But she has got total and utter control of the situation here I'm sure of it so much so she just keeps coming back for more doesn't she she's not scared at all by what's going on here that's her next meal I've been surprised that I didn't see this back end of this uh, centipede do its nasty thing I thought the back end there uh, was quite a snappy piece but maybe I'm totally wrong to me uh, the centipede there is just losing its speed and the redback spider does whatever it wants to do. Oh, look at that. Man. Aggressive little girls, aren't they, hey? Just spinning the bowl around there. She's just coming in for strike after strike after strike. She can certainly sense victory here. I mean, she, the poor thing, just, you know, a couple of hours back, she was living underneath one of the bins in our place, and now she's put in this giant battle that she would never expect. But, man, she is showing her class. And I've always said, Redback Spider, man, they are a class act when it comes to killing things. One of the most ultimate killing machines in the backyard. I know there's going to be quite a few people sad uh, of the centipede's fate here, and it's not going to be a pretty fate because it's going to take a long period of time. Just going to probably see uh, the Redback Spider make a move, and it seems to like to come in on this back flank in a sense. Probably the safe side to come in on. The Redback again at the front here. Obviously the centipede knows it's in trouble. Look how calm the redback is now. Total control of the situation here. It's doing whatever it wants to do. That's the difference between winners and losers. And it really does, well, what it does stand back to is really the redback was laying sticky web uh, all the time when it was put in there right from the start. Oh, it's going to do another little move here. I just love their action. It's going for the, wow. It's going for the, the headpiece here. That was very, very violent. Naughty Mrs. Redback. Naughty! And she just keeps coming back for more, for more, for more. It's all her game now. Totally in control. Look at her there, the back there. She's going to make a move, most possibly. And keep right on the tail here. She'll probably think I'm the enemy in a second. She'll be spraying web at me. But no, she's going to come around. She's turning around. Isn't she a stunner, eh? We'll give her a name. What are we going to give her a name? Betsy? Hey, Betsy the, the killer. 
Maybe you can give her a name. Let's just see who's watched this battle. Give this redback spider a name, please. And um, let's not call her Mrs. Gonzo, hey? I don't know. They do these weird things. Like they do this face plant thing. I don't know what they get all on. They're sneaky things, aren't they? They're... They got some very, very peculiar little special spidery things that scare you. And again, wow, she's coming in for the headshot here. Uh, she says, ah, done it before. I'll do what I want to do now. And she's just really probably waiting out a game now for her venom to take effect on this centipede here. I'm sure there would have been points here where there was bites inflicted. And I'm sure she's putting down a web and really trying to immobilize this critter and stop it from trying to escape. Really, I like it when she does these head shots and she'll come up and attack. Oh, she's going for the body. Oh, look at that. Wooshka does some web action, just flies by and doubles back for another walk in the park. Yeah, nice to watch it play, isn't it, hey? And again, she's coming in and there's that back piece there. I want to definitely see her do a bite thing because I know they're really epic when they do their bite. Again, there she is on the body of the centipede. Walking where she wants to walk. And she just doubles back around them. I mean, she must completely sense victory here. There she is again, walking over the centipede. That's funny, I've been looking at these spiders now for some time, and I actually get semi-comforted by looking at the way they work in the strangest way. I'm starting to really like them. Coming across, come on. I want to really see that fangy action that they do. They've only got really small fangs, sometimes really tricky to video. Oh, here she is up at that uh, head area again, as I say, but she doubled back on the glass then. Yeah, she's touching the centipede here, and she's just waiting out time, I assume. She may want to get some more bites in. She's not whispering to me her secret tactics, I can tell you that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that she did something to one of those back weird bits on the centipede here. Again, she's touching. She's touching. I want to see... When they do a bite, they do this decisive leg movement. And she's done another walkover. Yes, yeah, so I, I can only assume she's doing web stuff as she does that. She's been doing lots and lots of that. But I love it when she does this crawl up the body. Yeah. Bring it on, girl. Bring it on. I just keep seeing her repeat the same action. See, she comes in and touches. There she goes. And then she's doing another walk up the body. There'd be so many people surprised to see that, I can tell you. And look at that, she just whooshed. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter anymore about the head. She just does what she wants to do. Oh, look at her now. Aggressive little thing, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Over the body again. Nice work, girly. I think most people would agree with me. The Redback Spider has total control. Look at that, up on the head. They're up on the head. Total control of the situation. Totally. Look at that. I mean, I can't believe that myself. Right on the, the chompers of the centipede. T totally amazing. I mean, look at now. She's got, she just stands by this thing now. She's got it. Again, here she goes up the head, up to the head, up to the head, under the chompers there. The centipede isn't doing a thing. So what is she doing up there? What's her secret plans? To be? Is she either the kiss of death or something from the red back? Totally amazing. <laughs> Oh, oh, again, 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 it's going to be the kiss of death here. There must be, oh, look at that. Look at that. She must be trying to get bites in. There must be something very important up the front there. Look at her go. This is now attack after attack after attack. She just doesn't stop now. So a bit of time has gone by and I could only assume she thinks the venom's taken effect and it's a lot safer for her to play games like that. 
I can only assume she's getting in as many bites as she possibly can. And she just doesn't stop. She just keeps coming back for more and more. Well, there's plenty of legs there that have a bite on, I can tell you. Look at her go, and there's those things there. She seems to like to play with those. I thought they were dangerous. She just doesn't stop coming back to this centipede here again. She's walking up the body, going up to the head here, which I always thought was a death sentence. Look at that! And she must, there must be something at the, oh my goodness, really get pain, it must be bites! It's gotta be bites, a redback is getting bites into the head of the centipede here! That has to be high bites because I saw the centipede real in pain! Just trying to get it out of glass experience here, the red bag doing its walk over there. Up to the head, up to the head! Oh, it looks so ugly, doesn't it? It looks a bit distorted because I'm looking through glass and look at the red bag doing it, what it wants to do. Do you see much happening from that centipede? No, I don't see much at all. And that uh, centipede, I tell you what, it's lost a lot of its energy. It's not moving anywhere near as much as it was before. Oh, again, the red back up near the head of the center just walks over. I think for a while there, the centipede actually broke free. But uh, because the red back has laid in so much of its web in here, it just goes from entrapment to entrapment. So many people said to me that these giant centipedes are absolute spider killers. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't see it like that. The one thing that troubles a redback spider, and I think everything gets troubled by it, is colonies of ants. They are extremely nasty and aggressive. And look at this redback doing whatever it wants to do. But in saying that, when I captured this redback, it had actually captured a very large and nasty ant. So, you know, if you have a colony against you, I think you're a goner, but they can take out ants when they're loners. Oh, the redback up near the head there, you know. You'd think there'd be a chomp or something from the centipede, nothing. The red back just does what it wants to do. And each time they encounter each other, the red back just lays down more and more web. And I'm absolutely certain that Mrs. Redback knows the centipede is sick and in trouble. And it just plays out a beautiful game here. Poised to take advantage and to come in and walk over the body whenever it wants to. Or scamper away like there. Earlier on I thought the centipede was going to wrap itself around like a pincer movement against the redback, but it never really fulfilled that. And again, the redback is up on that head section there. It likes doing stuff up there, but also doing the bowl as well. It must be dangerous. Redback again is going to do the body walk and up to the head. This head area it seems to be a very important strike zone for it. Ooh, scampers away. But don't you worry, it's always going to come back and play. There we are again up near the head. Yes, I'm sure someone can explain why the redback's fascinated with the front of that critter. Oh, again, up near the head area again. I hope we've seen that nice and clearly. Whatever it is, that must be those whiskery things. It wants to play with or bite. Although I always thought in a centipede that was like the death zone. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Oh, that's a, quite a maneuver from the centipede then. I thought it had an advantage, but um, oh, again. Seems to be on top of the red back. It seems to be getting a second win, but I don't know. It, it to me, it's just lost its energy. It could be the best way I could describe it. it. Just doesn't seem to move as well. It's certainly not moving freely. It's not moving as fast as it was before. A good reason for that is um, because I just keep seeing activity like this. Oh, oh, back up on the head area there again. Must be something very, very important to do up there for the red back to keep risking. It's a life up there. I mean, I've totally lost count of the times the redback has, has come back to the centipede. Look at that head again. Okay, so definitely something very important to strike up there. Well, I can see why this redback has made it through to this size. It's such an aggressive one, isn't it? Just keeps coming back, hey? And it's going to be, ooh, up near the head there again. Or is it going to scamper? Now it's going to scamper. And I love it when she does this walk up the body. Look at that. 
that is going to send lots of shivers down people's spines and it just goes totally opposite of what people told me what would happen if between a a giant centipede and the redback spider totally opposite to what people said look at it there doing whatever it wants to do biting whatever it wants to bite look at that working its way up to the head again frailing those front legs very carefully yeah I'm sure someone will tell me what's going on with the way the spider's working why it went for the head it initially went for that tail section which it's playing with at the moment but it seems to be the head was the main thing to to take out again she's doing a walk on the wild side I keep saying that's gonna shock so many people seeing this like, something up the top there must be those very important antennae whatever they are on this critter she must see that as a very important thing to get venom into to take control but she's you know she does she just hangs around wherever she wants to hang around I'll be honest here I there's no way I don't think it's going to swim around the other way now miracles <laughs> well miracles do happen but I don't think it's going to happen this time there she is playing with the back of the centipede now yeah look at her there very spider horrific isn't it watching the way she does things wonder if she's going to get a bit of a stinger into the back there whatever those bits in the back of the centipede are oh, she's maybe I don't know it's very hard well, I'm looking through a little viewfinder it's very hard for me to see exact details oh man it just was maybe she's just doing some web action there oh look at that legs getting frailing up there oh I hate to think what she's doing there I do wonder whether she's done a bite a bite thing there on those back things notice how I'm, I'm calling them their proper name <laughs> I've got no idea what the back of a centipede's called apart from its back end I know one thing on the redback spider does get a bite and you'll see the critter it'll have a reaction to it but, uh, it's very hard to see because the centipede's quite dark in colour and obviously the spider is as well I've just got some extra light on that maybe we can start to see what's going on there but it's very hard to tell exactly what that red back's up to I can only assume it's doing a bit of fangy action and the head of this uh, centipede well I can start to see its little jewelry things work and it's horrible as they look wow didn't see much menace from then if we go down the body here that's what we're seeing at the back here eight legs of death attached to the back the spider did free itself from the kiss of death <laughs> but it's gone up for another kiss on the head and I think we'll see this cycle over and over and over I can't see how the centipede's going to win this I'm pretty sure the redback spider has won it but what I'm going to do is let some time play out because we could watch this for hours and hours I'll put some muslin cloth over the top here and I'm sure next time I reveal this the redback will have a wonderful meal eight hours later there may have been a title or something saying like eight hours later because I'm coming back now to see what's going on inside the battle bowl here and I'll carefully take the muslin cloth away oh yeah I think I can see a very clear winner and also an extremely clear loser the redback spider wow what a prize trophy that is and in the eight hours that have just gone by I actually found a little garden orb spider I wonder if it's still alive there it is oh yeah it's still kicking I'm pretty certain Mrs Redback is still kicking let's see yes look at her there there's nothing wrong with her oh she's having a go at me there look at that she wants to spray me with her stuff oh the Redback's still having a victory dance here but as for the giant centipede here and it's literally stuck down to the bottom of the bowl because of the Redback's web it's not moving at all I can prod it around here I can't get it to flinch an inch the redback's venom will start to turn this critter basically into fluid and if I move it here we might see yeah there's some fluid coming out of it it's a very very sick thing well of course it's dead let me just turn this over so I can see the other side there's the underneath of this uh, beautiful dead centipede it's something that we rarely saw in the battle because it was well always on its feet in a sense and maybe I can get a close-up of the munching bit that really didn't menace the redback at all there it is there I did some reading up apparently the the front legs have evolved into like um, chompers but um, I didn't see them doing that much chomping in the battle 
I'll just uh, turn over Mr. or Mrs. Centipede. I'm always worried I'm going to say Millipede. I don't know why. Yeah, very impressive kill by Mrs. Redback. I'm not sure whether this beautiful Redback Spider is going to come along and feed on the Centipede. What she is deserving of is a nice little environment for her retirement, I feel. And in the eight hours uh, since the battle, I've been quite busy in the workshop. This is what I've constructed for uh, my beautiful Mrs. Redback. This isn't a Spider Tank 2.0. This is really for me to analyse uh, what the Redback Spiders do if they are presented with a structure. And also to try and curb the problems I had of the spiders uh, always using the corner of the tank. Uh, maybe doing that in the middle there is going to solve some problems. First thing I'll do is I'll transfer this centipede here over to the tank. Obviously it's passed away and I'll put it down there nice and carefully. Watch out McQueen, whoa, it looks nasty. I'll also very carefully get the little garden orb spider across. I'm not sure if I'll get it on camera but trust me it'll go across. I just shine a light in there, that spider's right on McQueen's door there, balled up. And it leaves just one more to transfer across and it's going to be Mrs. Redback spider. Yeah, just get on the tweezers here nice and gently. She'll put her web out behind her, but I know how to deal with that. Okay, across she goes, and I'll very gently just tap her down. Okay, down she goes. Hopefully. <laughs> she's down, I hope. And as I suspected, she's finding a nice little recluse area to live. I'm sure she's going to love this new home. So this is not Spider Tank 2.0. This is to help me build Spider Tank 2.0, and I think... One thing that's going to really help is having a structure in the middle there. Uh, one problem I really had was the redback spiders loved this corner, and people said to me different textures and different things they won't go for, but hey, that's yet to be proven. I'm pretty sure the redback in there is going to make a lovely home in that centerpiece there. Look at her up there. She will turn this environment into her home, and that's one thing about redback spiders. They are really adapt at turning an unnatural environment into their home. I really classify her as a prize fighter after witnessing what I saw in this video. I will come back to this environment here and it is just a test thing and we'll see what happens and see if my predictions about where she makes web come true. This video was shot on the 31st of August in 2017 down in Australia. We were coming out of our winter time. The bulk of my audience comes from the northern hemisphere you'd be rolling into your winter time. Hope that makes sense. We're starting to have some nice warm spring weather here in Sydney and the redback spider started to make a nice little home in this tank. Now what I'm noticing is there is a texture in there that she doesn't like to put web against. This may be a very, very interesting thing to understand if you want to try and stop these spiders. But I need some more time to evolve to really understand what's going on. And the other curious aspect is she never came down to feed on that centipede. I don't know why. Sometimes a redback spider will kill something and then not feed from it. It's very strange to see. Maybe my audience has the answer to that because they always do. And yes, another giant YouTube myth about centipedes versus spiders has been put to rest. As far as I can see, Redback Spider kills centipede. Yet somehow I know there'll be many people who want to argue against that. Such is the bizarre nature of YouTube.